Fence climbing, boys. Fence what I want to know is why is there a hog wire in my home? Ain't no, no hogs up there. Ain't no hogs up there. Right. What is hog why wire? Why did somebody I mean, put out hog wire for? Okay. Well, you, I don't know why they did that. Can you explain? I, stay, I well, want you need to, to talk when to I the get ready to change. Hey, you need to talk to the landowner and say, "Hey, look, we don't mind bob wire, <clears throat> but hog wire. You ain't got no hogs up here. Can, can take we, that crap down? Can we explain the difference in barbed wire and hog wire for the barbed wire for, is for you, for me, <laughs> and yeah. most yeah. of our yeah. listeners? Uh, hog wire is four by four squares. Four by four squares. Four yeah. inch by four inch square. They also make yeah. two by two. They make two by two yeah. and four by four non climb. Is what. A lot of people would know oh, it as, but it's called hog wire. Yeah. So you couldn't get across that. Oh, I could, yeah. The deer could too, if he'd have wanted to. Yeah, he watched all his buddies come under. That's right. <laughs> all the women said, "Hey, hey all, all ten of them. They all come down there and got run right under my feet. Every one of them." So the deer was on the other side of the hog wire. Is I which was, a chance. was our property so mind you don't i yeah. don't want anybody listening to saying he was gonna shoot across the fence no it's all the same it's, it's all, all the same, it's all same, same place. Place. Yeah. oh so why hey, didn't we you? Ain't, we ain't crossing fences here boys. because you can't take a 40 yard shot through a four by four square hole yeah, yeah he, you're not he, that good in case oh, you didn't was, know goblin no. wasn't in tokyo for archery yeah. Yeah. So, hey. so he like, was right right beside oh, i could have put it there but you know He's I been. Don't, how far has the trajectory? And he never gave him a good broadside. Well, hey, he's been a good hunter yeah. and not taking a bad shot. Exactly. Well, I hit okay. the wire, then it gets right. shot him, he, he runs yeah. off, we yeah, never and he find dies. him. Yeah, and he can you never know, find him. That kind of deal. Yeah. But, yeah, I had enough issues with no wire, so. <laughs> yeah, why'd they put you <laughs> next to him? That's right, Martin missed a big one, okay, because he got – what you call buck fever okay he looking at that big antler and hey he already had him in mounted and on the wall There's and then he done a little peeky boo and yeah. uh-oh peeky boo makes the arrow go peeky over the back no this one went under, <laughs> I'm, under. I'm, a, I'm a low miss <laughs> oh yeah. you're a low i don't miss, miss high I, well, I've, I, I've hunted for for with the bow all four or five years okay and i always do something stupid and I've never killed one. Okay, with stick and string. So I, you missed one. I missed oh. one, and then I killed one. Oh, they didn't kill one. Then I, he got serious. I got him. There's he got him. serious. His buddy, I got him. His buddies come across the fence. Yeah, his buddy. <laughs> hey. So I I went through the of, gate. One of the hey, other. No. Godwin had a bunch of non-fence crossers. Oh, okay. them suckers was non-compliant. That's right. Non-compliant, <laughs> boys. Hey, non-compliant. You got to have a little uh, cooperation here with the, right. with the game. <laughs> suckers. I I, and I've been doing that all week. Look, the first morning, uh, I got in this tree about eighty foot up. Felt like <laughs> it was it was tree climbing steps, then limbs, then tree climbing steps, then limbs, and I monkeyed my way up there and got in that stand, and uh, the deer crossed way over. I didn't have a pen for four hundred yards, so eighty foot up. Well, that's what it felt Look, like. You could just do one of them Kentucky windows, deal. Just that's well, what, I was wondering. That's what I, one of the guys told him yeah. on the group text. Uh, <laughs> just start shooting. I bet you'll get at least three shots at him. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. Right. Before he before yeah. he signed, what's raining down over here? Yeah, put that. Right. Put my peep on top of my stabilizer and let her. Don't rip. forget yeah. the peep. Just hey, yeah. just do it. Right. Hey, okay, just so okay. God said, so which which part of my bow do I use for a four hundred and thirty four yard <laughs> shot? Right. Asking hey. for a friend. Yeah. That's what he put That's in right. the group text, and I got plum text. tickled. So. <laughs> you just aim up at the clouds, Robin Hood uh, style. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got plum tickled when I spread that. God, but least. that was my week. That's why I hunt with a rifle. Okay, yeah. stick and train. You got to have patience. Okay, yeah, it's fun though. But I mean, that I, I get it. But that's why we like duck hunting like we do, too, because mm -hmm. we like to get critters close to well, us. Well, yeah, so, that's the thing. Uh, you know, we like to get critters too close yeah. in duck hunting. A rifle is nothing okay. more than a shooting contest. <laughs> yeah. When he gets in there at 20 yards, you're like, oh, boy. Yeah, then then it's the talking about, all right, is who has the steadiest nerves? Me or him? Uh, me or him. Not Not him. Am I going to hit him, or is he going to shake me up so bad because Martin said he was sitting there and had his bow in his hand? And the arrow's on the, the string, and it, 
True he story. Was, he was watching the arrow do this. A true story. So, so he stuck his finger over the arrow, and then his old And then my arm got to shake. <laughs> then his old arm got to shake it. The bow I got said, still. you fix to drop this arrow. What you been doing? You going to scare the one that's down there now? So then I laid it across uh, my lap. Okay, but, now I said, hey, let me lay this baby down right there. I'll tell you what, though. Look, here's what I'll tell you about bow hunting deer. If I ever lose that feeling, I'm out. Yep, time to quit. Well, no, no, I'm done. Most people don't realize, okay, it's not about the shot. It's really not. It's the if, whole chess I, match. Yeah. If mm-hmm. if if shooting was there, all there was to deer hunting, I would sell every gun I got and never go again. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've had more fun and didn't kill doodly squat, okay, watching the deer do what they do when they're out in their element. I know. I don't know. Play, I don't know. Kicking, farting. Oh. Kill, oh, no, don't get me wrong. I I like, no, no, I yeah. like to pull the trigger yeah. on one, but I'm just saying I, I like to watch them. Yeah. Okay. As Miss Paula says, there was Jumanji drums in my ears. Bubba, 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 bubba. Yeah. Jumanji drums. Yeah. I had them. I had beat, bow in hand twice. Heartbeats are loud when you're really yeah. excited, don't <laughs> yeah. they? Watching something because everything's are quiet around you in the woods. Oh, it's, you can hear it. You can hear it when something walks up and really gets you involved in this little exercise. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. To our listeners, if you're ever looking for a place to go deer hunting, and you want to see a lot of deer, go to Wyoming. Yeah. 7J Outfitters in Wyoming. You will see more deer than you've seen probably in your life on a hunt. That's a lot of deer. It's a bunch oh, of Oh, it's them. a bunch of them. And those guys are well, good because what... most of them walk by at 20 yards. Well, that's yeah. why it's fun. Yeah. Okay. That's why when you're, if you're training your kids, they're trying to get them interested in hunting, take them where they're going to see a lot of critters. Mm-hmm. Okay? Learn about make, deer. Making it interested for them to go. Well, you can nobody go to likes to sit there, there and never see nothing. And you won't, you ain't got time to yeah. say nothing. Yeah. Do an interview or good morning. It's yeah. no, yeah. You, you can't yeah. move. Yeah, I'll tell you, Si, you got tickled on this one. So I, we got dropped off, walked into our stand. Cameraman goes up first. So I'm still down on the ground. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon. By the way, it doesn't get dark till eight o'clock. Uh, yeah. Not that my rear end yeah. still hurts from the late. seats, yeah, but late. Yeah. tree stand companies do better. You've uh. got to make one that's comfortable because I ain't found him yet. But anyway, so I'm standing there on the ground. I hear something behind me. I'm up next to this pine tree and I hear something. I'm like, oh boy. Yeah, I got a big yeah. problem with them yeah. big cats, you know? So I just hear something behind me to break a limb. I'm like, wow. Not good. Not good. Yeah. Yeah. We don't and know I, what, we don't know what's behind I, me yet. I, yeah. I just, I gave it this number and there was a spike, old spike buck, you know, year and a half old buck yep. here. And he's just walking right at me. And I'm like, oh man, how close is this sucker going to get? <laughs> yeah. How close is he going to come up? He got close enough to wear some Copenhagen spit. That's how close he got. <laughs> okay. And buddy, when I did that, he about jumped out of his you skin. You pulled old Josie well. Oh, man. I did. Just like the dog. I yeah. couldn't help myself. I did that. I did that in North Carolina. I'm on. I'm looking, and a doe runs across, and I ain't got but three shells. That's all I had. Yeah. You know, I shoot three times. Her miss her. Okay. <laughs> so she she had come out of the woods down there in a little hole. So I walked down. And I wanted to see where she was at, where she came from, and I stuck my head in this hole in the woods. And if I had been quick enough, there was an eight point buck standing in that hole. I could have slapped him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. So, look. He jumps out out in the middle of the field that I'm uh, standing in, and I so I, so I said, I bet you I'll make him run. I threw that shotgun up. He knows I'm out of shells because he sits there wiggling his tail at me as he walks off. And he I, said, count yeah. I said, I oh, said, you yeah. have got he to said, be nah, he's in, kidding me. He's, in, he's like in blue wing oh. teal during teal season that can count. Yeah. They just hit the water with the rest of their buddies, and then when you're out of bullets, they get up and Oh, fly no, off. it yeah. took him like five minutes to walk away, and the whole time he's laughing at me, letting me look at his butt wiggling. Okay, Same. Watch I, me. Watch yeah, me. and I told my buddy, I said, I wish you'd have been here five minutes ago. You could have killed this stud eight-point that's playing with me because he knows I'm out of ammo. 
I said, that's the dumbest thing I ever pulled, take three bullets in the stupid woods. I just kind of wish Deer had podcasts because I'd like to hear his version. Of <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. He told me, yeah, I showed hey, Simon, you. That's man. happened about three or four times. You've shot at okay. a doe three or four times and then that's, found a buck in a hole Oh, no, in the woods no. And, and just, of- hey, I walked down to the stupid boathouse down there on Phil's property, and I got a 30-30 sitting in deer season open. It's beside me. Well, as yeah. soon as I got out, I looked at it, and I said, I should take that with me. And I said, oh, it ain't going to take me but like two minutes to get this, what I need. So I walked and get in the boat, and as soon as I look up on the back side of where we backed the boat out on the other side of the creek, mm-hmm. okay, there's a big deer standing there, and he's got a big, massive rack on his head. Boathouse buck. And I'm going. Be elusive. You have got to be kidding me. For those of and you that does, don't know, that can't be more than 12 yards. Yeah. Oh, no. It From ain't, the front no. of the boathouse yeah. to where we back out. Oh, it wasn't even that. That's what He's I'm saying. He's standing on the edge of it, He's, okay? That's tight. And Allegedly. Looking at, looking at me, and I'm looking at him, and I'm saying, you have got to be kidding me. Well, he does the same thing. He goes, ha, ha, turns around. He wiggles his tail, he and it takes him five minutes to walk away, and I'm just standing like an idiot talking about why didn't you bring that thirty thirty? You could have killed him. Uh, <laughs> By the way, you what, idiot. When y'all were gone, Willie uh-huh. set in uh, for Martin or Godwin, whoever it was, and he said that Cy lives in a cartoon whenever he's out in the woods where the deer all cough, and apparently now they all laugh at him. That's right. Yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah. He, and they count. do. Well, <laughs> and they count. If he'd go to Wyoming, he'd hear him fart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, hey. I had a bunch of them that when I lived in uh, Alabama. Here we go. Pear tree. Okay. And look, they would wait till they fell off, all of them on the ground, and they turned brown. And when you walk by it, you would figure somebody is cooking shine because all you can smell is alcohol. Fermented well, sugar. Hey, I would mm-hmm. watch a, a doe and two yearlings come out and look, they would literally gorge themselves okay till they would blew up from the alcohol okay and every time they move it was okay there you go and me and my wife and kids are on the floor just it's hee-haw all over all night long <laughs> till the deer leave and when they're leaving it I- the whole time I would doubt that if I hadn't seen it myself oh, no. in Wyoming. So, oh, yeah. I mean, them right. deer eat all that alfalfa, oh. come up there with their bellies, bro. And when they're walking <laughs> by you, they just steady fart. <laughs> it's hilarious. No, no. I laughed so I actually hurt. Yeah. I had to get up and go put cotton cotton in my ear where I can't hear it no more. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, if you'd have just put them tetras in there, you'd have well, never hey, heard it. I'm anything. just saying, hey, <laughs> I had to put something in it. Uh, all right. Look, hey. it's the best time of year. Hunting season is <laughs> back, back. And we got lots of stories. We'll be uh, back right after this. What'd you ask me? How many, how many points do you have? That's an extremely personal question. But, uh, Get personal, right? I'll now. say this: it starts with a seven. <laughs> there you go, baby, Tell them, baby. I ain't, I ain't got that eight bag. Uh, but that eight it bag, does yeah. start with a seven. You know how you can get the eight bag? Well, if I go to Scoremaster, I should be able to potentially add ninety-seven points because that's what they say they, that you can add to your credit score. But most people don't know how to get those 97 points. The data scientists, that's right, scientists, you know, they wear like lab coats and stuff. Science. Okay. Well, probably not, but, Educated. you know, they are scientists. That yeah, score master, they crack the code on how, adding 97 points to your credit score, just like finding money. Reach down there and pick up that $100 bill. Right. Why not? Hey, I will. A hundo, boy. Hey, I still pick up a penny. I ain't hey, scared. I'm telling you, Look, hey. it means fast loan approvals, huge discounts, and low interest rates on everything from buying or refinancing a home to leasing a new car, to applying for a credit card. How fast is ScoreMaster? One member raised his credit score 33 points in just five days, another 43 points in a couple of weeks. So he's hmm. 76 up. So he's almost to that 97 number. ScoreMaster is so easy, it takes about a minute to get started. And if you hurry, you get to try ScoreMaster for free. That's right. Try ScoreMaster free and see how many plus points you can add to your credit score. Go to scoremaster.com slash duck. That's scoremaster.com slash duck. And one last time, scoremaster.com slash duck. There we go, baby. Hey. What is the longest shot? It was, was, it, was it a longbow or a compound? Longbow, probably. Don't look at the picture. Longbow. It's probably a oh. longbow. He said compound. 930 oh. feet. 930 feet? 
And he hit the target. Three, 310 yards. Uh-huh. He hit the bullseye. Hit the bullseye. He Did he, he, he use his stabilizer as a <laughs> – he wouldn't have got yours. He'd no. been about 100 yards short. Yeah. He'd been 100 yards well, short. There's another – 310. Ba- there's one very impressive part of that. What is that? He's blind? No. Nope. Oh. He's not blind. He doesn't have any arms, though. Mm. I got you. 930 have- feet is the world archery record by Matt Stutzman – uh, and he did it in McKinney, Texas, in 2015, and he was born without arms. So and he, he did it with his feet. He holds the bow with his feet and yeah. then pulls it, I guess pushes it forward and holds it with his shoulder and his chin and lets it go. And he is the world I've record holder. Him. That's, a, that's impressive. For longest archer. Yeah. And here I am missing one at 15. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't want to bring that up. He bulls uh, 310. Yeah. That's, that's fantastic, dude. That's good for him. But that's what I was looking yeah, at. In that's the brain. fantastic. That is awesome. Yeah. It's cool to see those people that have those disabilities. Like, what's his name? Clay Dyer? The, the yeah, fisherman? The fisherman, yeah. He ain't got nothing. Like, no arm. Well, that, that's not a disability. No leg. Yeah, no. I mean, it's just incredible, though, that they're they're born with these. I mean, I, I look at how much trouble I have doing stuff, and I got everything. I know. And I'm like, how in the world? Determination. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Mind redneck, over matter. Redneck ingenuity, boys. Don't ever, don't ever bet gone, against huh? it. Don't ever, I'm going to Don't ever bet against it. I mean, look, size legally blind. He's still shooting ducks. <laughs> and, and driving. And killing them. <laughs> Allegedly. Even when they put blanks in my gun, I still kill them. <laughs> hey. Hey, that's, now, hey, pull that off, buddy. Oh, you killed the duck with blanks in your gun? Yeah, that's what they told me. They Scared him three, to death. They put three three uh, blanks in there, and I raised up, boom, 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 three times, three ducks fell. <laughs> and they said, hey, no you matter, didn't, there's four you or five didn't kill nothing. Blind. I said, well, hey, I just, uh, I'm the only one that shot three times, and they all fell. So, you know, did someone shoot with me? Because I didn't hear it but three shots. Is that a true story? Uh, I yeah. cannot confirm or deny this story. So. mean. Who put the blanks in the gun? Sounds like a Jay Stone. The Robertsons. The <laughs> Robertsons. Yeah, I think it was Je- Je- uh, Jason is the yeah. one that said he did it. Sounds like And Jay- I said, well, hey, it didn't do you no good, son. I'm still killing them. Weeded you out anyway. That's <laughs> right. I weeded you out anyway. You're out. Uh, killing ducks <laughs> with blanks in his gun. Well, what else happened in Wyoming? Oh, oh I, I think Ga- Gowan, hmm? why, why don't you tell the people about the dessert? steak you had at Wyoming. The dessert? Oh, yeah. Since though. we've been known to get on food. Oh, well, wait a minute. I'm interested in this. Uh-oh. A dessert steak? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm all ears. So we're at this place. It's it's great steak, by the way. Okay, I guess so. Except for this one. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, oh, boy. Oh, it's the other way. Well, it was, I ate it, but I would. It's not, well, how, shock, mama, I that's not how mama made shock it. Shock of all shocks. I will not order it again. It was, a, they called it, I forget what they called it. Anyway, it was cooked with brown sugar. So I'm thinking, well, they just seasoned it lightly because it said sweet and spicy. So I said, I'll try it. I never heard of it. So I ordered it. But it's caked on there like sugar toast, like a crust on top. Oh, this is like, uh, what is it, cinnamon and sugar yeah. toast? Okay. On top of a steak. Okay, on top of a steak. It's not my bag cup of tea. Yeah, no, it, I don't think I would go for that either. Huh? But I was, why I run a good piece of meat by spreading sugar all over it? Well, I, you know, I never thought it'd be like sugar toast. <laughs> I just they kind of lied a, to you, really. They did. They they. I, he's life and some somebody was put up to this. No, junk. no, no. no. I, was, I was going to the airport. Yeah, this is I was going to menu. pick people up from you the are, airport. Hey, wait a minute, this was at a restaurant or at the rank? At the restaurant. Not restaurant. Yeah, okay. I was going. I was in Rapid City if picking up people still, from the airport. This is still one of them. Okay, we're going to get Godwin. I'm just, no, no, no. no Godwin no, got the himself. One cook it. Godwin got himself on this one. Brown mm. sugar steak. A brown sugar steak. Why okay, think they of it as a like a honey glazed steak almost? Is the way Godwin and Hunter both described it. But they it, got the same thing. Yeah, we got. I said, why I ruin got a good steak? I said, I, I never. I figured it'd be you know just a kind of a sweet taste yeah no it's, well they it's said like spicy taking, yeah they said spicy they, they lied no spicy but well, i yeah, should have known that you. going north yeah they lied to you i should have known that going hey, north Just they the, need hey they, they need to have one of these yardsticks right here 
Well, I taking, guess. Taking I, to them for running a good piece of state like that. Well, I guess some people you know, like beat it. The it's on the menu. Them with it. It's, it's all over the internet. Well, look at uh, it. The reason I'm laughing so hard uh, is because I still remember the look of disappointment on Galvin's face. Oh, I we, imagine so. When we got back to the lodge. I, I, mean, I broke my yeah. row. I didn't get a steak with a handle on it. Here's <laughs> a recipe for garlic balsamic brown sugar steak. Uh, now, hey, don't. Hey, if vinegar's on it, hey. That's a gar. No, it ain't is. no gar. Cause hey, pe- that's hey. a hard gar. Oh, no. Because people are putting, like, coffee as their But I would rather now. have it instead of on that's the fine. steak. I would yeah. rather have it on my on my salad. I have a firm belief that yeah. steak yeah. doesn't need sweet. No, no. Steak, beef yeah. does not need sweet. Yeah. You don't want it sweet. Pork can handle sweet. You can put a little sweet Chicken can handle a little sweet. But beef... To me, doesn't hold up well. Well, when sweet. you say the I'll word, I'll confirm that. Yeah, I'll confirm hey, that. <laughs> with, when you say the word spicy, okay, it's got to be like some kind of barbecue yeah. sauce. Well, let me okay. tell you what spicy means in the state of Wyoming. Yeah. They actually found the black pepper shaker. They found it, boys. Yeah. It they was over there. That didn't mean they used it. They just looked at it while they were cooking with it. They ain't much yeah. on black pepper. They ain't much there. on. Spice. Oh, they don't use. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. They use a little I salt. Like a little do. salt, but no black pepper. No black pepper. Well, hey, my uncle's like that. Yeah. Okay. Because he said, hey, you eat it and it goes in, it comes out the same way black pepper does. There's no, you, it ain't no breaking this down. I, I ain't ever looked that close. Well, no. I'm just, well, I'm just saying, I, that's what my uncle told me. Well, right. There you go. He don't yeah. eat pepper. Boy, yeah. we had some good vittles when we got there. Oh, okay. Better than the brown yeah. sugar yeah. steak. Yeah, better. Oh. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't run good steak. We had to put yeah. sugar on it. We had the best deer steak. I, I don't care what anybody says. Them deer they in eat south better? and northeast Wyoming. They eat better? Best eating deer in the country. They good. No huh. mustiness, no wild taste. You ain't got to do nothing to them. Cut it off the bone and put it in some grease. Really? Yep. No, You don't have to tenderize it. You ain't got to do nothing. Just get to roll. That's wild. It is. Yeah. Wild. <laughs> yeah, it's it's wild, wild game. Well, no, no. I'm just saying that's just. You know, I guess yeah. it's their diet. I guess because yeah. all they eat is hay, yeah. essentially alfalfa and acorns. And that's it. That's, that's all it. they got to eat up there. And it is fan. Well, the, the fattest deer I've ever cleaned would have to be in Alabama. The on, f- my, on my little place I bought in Alabama. See, these deer ain't got I'm just a about, whole hey, lot I'm of talking about, I'm talking about that thick. Okay, when you pull the hide off of them, then you got to go, you know, Inch or two? unreal. When you're mm. when you're skinning these deer up there, you have to be careful that the meat don't pull off with oh, the don't hide. That's tear? how tender it is. Yeah. Very tender. Well, hey, before we get to just gnawing our arm <laughs> off, let's take another break. We'll be back right after. <laughs> I'm you. starving. Hey, look here, boys. It's backed by 35 years of research and development. And it's working for you. And hey, and it's personally working for you. And hey, here's the key to all of it. It comes from the pristine waters of New Zealand. Mussels, okay? And they say they got lips and smile, but I don't know about that. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, okay, look, this is not a cream that you put on and cover something up, okay? This is not makeup like women use, okay? This is Omega XL, and it goes to the spot where it's sore and hurting okay because it's the inflammation that hurts okay and omega xl goes right to the spot takes care of business okay it no longer hurts and hey look you order the first bottle and guess what they send you the second one free boys it's free bottle of pills it's a free bottle of pills but wait hey hey, it's the greatest thing that's ever come along Uh (laughs) <laughs> well, how do I we get it, it sir? Well, hey, you tell him, JD. Oh. Well, Martin, how about you spit it out? <laughs> oh, so one of you tell him. Hey, I love it. You Hand hit it every point they wanted covered with no script. I got it right here in front of it. It's fantastic. <laughs> Look, we are here to help get you started. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 800-844-4888. one more time. And order you some Omega XL. Boys, it works for everyone. But it ain't nothing worse than the food business, okay, than to get your mouth ready for whatever you ordered that you know is good. 
And then it ain't what you ordered. <laughs> Yeah, because oh, your, what you your taste buds are ready for like I I I done it with a you BLT. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I knew I was, that one was coming. He's I did back it with on a, that BLT. Yeah. I did it with a BLT. I, my mouth was ready for bacon, and then when I bit into it, it was some unknown substance that I bit into, and I just <laughs> spit it out. What was that like egg? Part. And it was yeah, but it was what what my mouth was not ready for an egg. Okay, Man. it was ready for. Bacon. I can go ahead and tell you, my mouth is bacon, always bacon, ready bacon. for an egg. Well, no, no, normally oh, I late. would, but it was just He so, wasn't ready for it. Bro. I wasn't ready for it. You don't like the sneak attack? No, I don't like the old biting into something. I don't know what it is. Okay. I'm kind of the same of, way. Yeah. I can't stand somebody, you know, you get them places, got sandwiches or something where you eating as a group and you grab one of them, take a bite. Oh, no, I don't eat that. Got a big old plug of mayonnaise already on it. You're like, or an avocado. Mm. Ain't nothing no, wrong avocado ain't bad, mayonnaise. but mayonnaise. No. An avocado hey. is bad. No, it ain't. It's hey. the mud of the earth. The mud of the earth. Hey, well, but hey. in vegetable it's form. It's pretty good mud. Is it a vegetable? It's pretty good That'd mud. That'd be a fruit. Be a fruit. It's seed that is inside. Not a fruit. Yeah. Seed seed is is inside. Fruit is way better than avocados. <laughs> if that's a fruit, it's the worst of all fruits. No. Is, it, is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Uh, yes, a vegetable. it is. It is. Hey. And Where it's better than inside. avocados. Where are tomato. we going with this? I don't know. You were the one that a had tomato, the philosophical. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Hi. I just got mad thinking about avocados in a sandwich that you don't see coming. Oh, I don't mind avocados because avocado, to me, they don't taste like nothing. What like, about avocado have, mayo? It's what? just trying to make both of them a little better, but yeah. in turn, it makes yeah. them both worse. So I don't, I don't know. That's, some, well, that's, that's his opinion. About like, about like that, uh. Gowan makes that horseradish stuff to dip the deer steak Ooh, in. Yeah. That's good. Well, our buddy who was on podcast, Waddell, was there, and he makes a wasabi. A wasabi. Dipping sauce he kicked for deer it steak. He kicked it up it's a night. little heat. And wasabi, whatever wasabi <laughs> is, him and a horseradish are very close cousins. Yeah. Because to me, they taste about the same, and I don't like either one of them. But when somebody makes something right there in front of him, he's saying, here, try this. Yeah, try this. Well, you got to. And I, he said, what do you think? I said, I think it tastes like wasabi. <laughs> not wasabi, I mean, boy. I couldn't get past that taste. I was like, I said, I try this oh, stuff every so often. I don't know nose. that I've ever eaten wasabi. Wasabi. You ain't eat no sushi? I don't eat. I, you don't the, eat the green stuff? Oh, I yeah. think I don't I'm, eat green things. I eat mine yeah. and whoever's sitting next to me. Yeah, I, uh, I always, the first thing I do is okay. take mine and scoop it over to Gawa. That's right. I'll eat that ginger, that pickled ginger oh, to yeah. cleanse your I palate. Like I'll eat him. It, oh, yeah. But it tastes like horseradish? Wasabi does. I like horseradish. Wasabi and horseradish are yeah. almost identical. Pretty close. You just yeah. don't have to have as much of it at one time. Yeah, it's a little more um, uh, concentrated. Tart, potent. A little tart. It's a little concentrated. Yeah, a little tart. Um, well, I'm going to try wasabi. There you go. No, it tastes Even just though like it's horseradish. Green. They got that it's the color. wasabi uh, sauce. Chemo sauce. That's what you need to get. Chemo uh, sauce. Chemo sabi. <laughs> we really are up in Wyoming. <laughs> well, yeah. Chemo sabi. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, low rent. Well, what'd y'all do while we was away? What, y'all had K? Had we Willie. had K. Kay. K's episode, no offense to you guys, it might have been my favorite one we've ever done. Oh, well, fixed that. There was five good segments. Well, good. Five good. I don't even remember. She was on the roll because I started her off when I said, uh, how did you like uh, growing up, Miss K, with a millstone hanging around your neck everywhere you went? He remembers thinking so about me truly. And it tickled Stone because Stone said, "Wait a minute, I got to look up what is a millstone." I me. said, "It's a big, heavy weight." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we got the greatest story of all time. Yep. And if you haven't listened to it, I, I would retell it. I'd but I don't it, think it's possible. But yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. you got to watch there. You got to watch the real thing. Go yeah. back to last week and listen to Miss K tell the story of the wedding that they had in their front yard. It is complete with Dr. Pepper. And I was mad because I did not get invited. Casual dress. Yeah, uh, casual dress. Pit bulls and right, pit bulls. yippee dogs mm. and also chips. Uh, the, all, all the yeah. things. And sauce. All the things. <laughs> yeah, all the good things. We're in that yeah. store. I'm yeah. just guessing about a menu go, and that, that bunch of area never tried no wasabi. No. No. no, they didn't have no wasabi. No, there was no there wasabi at this Wasabi, wasabi boys. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Uh, and then Willie came by and made fun of us and told us all he wasn't mean. Um, and yeah. what Walked else did out. he do? Yeah, then he left. Wasn't we did gone. ask Willie how to get a raise. 
What did he say? I worked somewhere yeah, else. Because I told them, they asked me. <laughs> they asked me, and I said, you're the wrong person. I don't ever ask for a raise. I go in there and tell the boss, hey, you can give me a raise. Oh, I'm going to walk. And Willie said, I'll pair, pack your bags for you. I said, ha, ha, yeah. Okay. But you yeah. still here. I'm still, still here. here. He's still here. Can't was, get rid of him. So that means he got a rake. That's right. Hey. It was very quiet around the office, though. It was not a lot happening. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah. And now we're rolling into, well, it's dove season now, teal season this Saturday. And the teal are actually here for right now. Yeah. There's a long time I've between now and Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's one of them. Up that's one of them. That's fa- uh, feast or phantom, boys. And usually it's phantom. That means they're gone. Oh, they're gone. I mean, it's like normally most people, people say famine. Yeah, yeah, I was like, whatever. Whatever. Hey. but a phantom is about the same. I mean, it it made same sense. Thing. It's like yeah. a ghost. He's yeah. a ghost gone. boy. Hey. And then while y'all were gone too, size workouts have gotten better. Oh, you He's up gone. to 11 pounds? No, hey, I'm up to 8 pounds. Well, when I <laughs> called him this morning, he couldn't breathe. So Oh, that was I'm, you that called. I didn't even recognize your voice. Hey, well, Sal, I didn't recognize yours either because well, it was. No, no. <sighs> well, hey, you caught me in the middle of. I had just finished six uh, repetitions of thirty repetitions of six exercises for crying out loud. For crying oh, out loud. And the phone man. rings and I had to stop Good my night. workout and so I went, hello and he said, "Hey, you out of breath?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "You must be working out." And I said, "Well, I was." And I said, "Be here at one." <laughs> be here at one. Right, be here I said, at got one. you. Hi. But Hi. but while y'all were gone, he because he went from the threes to the fives. Well, it was time to... So it was redneck ingenuity, okay? Instead of going and buying eight-pound weights, okay, (laughs) I just got some tape... Okay. You didn't. Yes, I did. No. I, no, no. <laughs> no I got, look, they got like yeah. a handle no, between no. them. No, no. Look, hey, I got five-pound blue and red, three-pound red, and I taped them together. So it's, you know... No, you Getting didn't. Out. Yes, I did. <laughs> you know, my wife walks by laughing all the time when she sees me doing it. Will you bring those tomorrow? I think we filmed tomorrow because of the holiday. Yeah. Will you please okay. bring yeah, those I'll bring, tomorrow? I bring. I want to see the hey, eight pounds. You saw my rough too. Rough. Okay, because the first time I, I I checked it when I taped the first one, I checked it and told me. So I said, I said, ooh, ooh, yeah. I started. I said I'm gonna have to go from thirty to twenty. I'm gonna have to drop down ten first. So I had to drop down 10 first, and then I said, oh, you, hey, nah, this ain't doing it. You're going to have to suck it up and just bear through it, son. Go with eight pounds in each hand. I'm scared the tape's going to fall apart while Oh, no, no, it's, above, it's double tape. They got that 100 miles. Oh, no, it's above your head. No, oh, no, is I double three, tape it. Do you hold the five or the three? I hold the five. Okay, so only the three pounds. Yeah, only the threes you. up there. But I double taped it because it did fall apart on me one time. <laughs> okay, and I, it barely missed my you foot. You see my toenail. <laughs> oh, no, 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 look, it barely missed my foot. And it was like, bam. I said, ooh, that could have been bad yeah. if that three-pound weight had hit my foot ooh, on top. That toenail would have turned it, black and fell oh, off. Oh, no, no, hey, it had been worse than that. I'd been walking, hobbling around there oh. for a month. Screaming hard. So I said, okay, look, the stupid uh, electrician tape come unglued on me. So I said, well, hey, I got a news for you. I taped it back up, got me some more tape, and run it around about twice. I want to shoot a fitness video aside now. Uh, yeah. Hey. hey. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, look. But get him in like the bright colored tights like they used to have on those infomercials <laughs> where it's step, step. And I look, mean, just completely yeah. go back to and like hey, 89 to 92 hey, and have side flash, doing workout videos. Hey, what what just flashed in my mind and I want a t shirt that said Beach Body. <laughs> <laughs> That's the commercial, Beach Body. Beach everybody, body. Yeah, everybody's into the Beach Body, boys. Body by and all these, Hey, And all these are skinny guys and skinny gals. I think we're. We that, just, hey, they never need to work another day in their life, work out. Okay. So, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What are you going to do when you graduate to tens? Uh, well, no. Tape hey, a two on those, well, no, baby. No, no. Hey, no, no. No, that will probably be I'll have to buy. The next two will probably, the double deal is getting hard, okay, to do. Okay. But when he hey, wants to go to 13s, because no, no, they don't even make 13s. No, no, because it's bulky, okay? So, hey, when I go to 10, but I'm hey, tired. it's going to be a workout, okay? But then you so can. Look, you got to think about it. 30 reps. 30? Yeah, and I do this four sets. Oh, okay, I, so that's 720 repetitions. Here's what I'm counting. Hold on. What did you just say? 
720. I do 720 repetitions. Of a four sets of 30? Of six no. exercises. Oh, of six different yeah. exercises. Six 180. different exercises. Wow. 180. He does every 180 time. four times. We did yeah. have a very informative with a head trainer of the duck call room, Jay Stone, here last week. We talked. I'm going tomorrow. Mm. The House uh, of Pain. The House, House of, of Pain, pain was closed this You'll morning. You'll never last. But I'm going that's, tomorrow That's morning. my prediction right now. You'll never last. I tried the House of Pain. It lasted about, oh, three days. I might have a QB on the way next uh, week. You may <laughs> have a QB on the way. <laughs> We're not even look, sponsored you by may, you may You may need to leave the House of Pain and go to the House of Fun. I fit in way better over Any, there. Hey, yeah. here's the thing. Anytime that you see me working out, Okay, I work out in my recliner. Okay, yeah, I'm into comfort. I'm not into pain. Is Cy going to be the okay. Cy going to start in the next movie of Dodgeball because he he is average Joe's gym right there. That's I mean, right. that's right. But that's hey, right. I'll, I'll be a shot. member. Yeah, no, no, because I was actually getting worried about myself. Okay, because look, I'm I'm working out in a stupid recliner, and I'm looking around, and my t-shirt is ringing wet. My back is stuck to the stupid recliner. You know, and I'm saying, what in the world is going on? Is something wrong with me? You know, I, I don't sweat like this. You know, what's going on? Well, my math was a little bit off. You know, I had forgot, okay, to multiply it times six. You know, I had come up with a different number than 180, okay? Six mm -hmm. exercises with 30 reps apiece, okay? That's 180 for every one. And if you do that four times, then you multiply four times 180, and that's 720. Mm -hmm. So better, that's the reason I was ringing wet. Okay? But you better make sure your air conditioner is on about 68. Oh, no, 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 no. Because, well, hey, and not only that, I have a fan sitting right up over in front of me blowing and I, blowing air on me. I so okay? the first man to ever build a home gym out of his recliner. <laughs> I said, I with a glass of tea, <laughs> right? Not, not out of my recliner. <laughs> Around my recliner. <laughs> the, the, we recliner need a of that. Hey, the recliner is the centerpiece of this operation, I okay? It. I can't wait I to see it. these weights in person. <laughs> oh, but boy. it's actually it's actually working. Hey. Boom! Look at that, son. Welcome to the gun no, show, hey, baby. For those hey, listening, there's hey, weapons of hey, mass I want destruction. Them to be about that big. Okay, so when it gets up there, yeah. Hot. He says he's, he's going to go register them things. He says he's high. getting like our <laughs> arm Look, wrestle. Before, or, before we go to break, how many midlife crises have you been in? Hey. <laughs> Look, there's always, there's always room for another one. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, like hey. a Harry Potterfield. Oh, just well, let's go more. to break. We'll be back right We'll be right back, Did you just say Harry Potterfield? Is, What's uh, in the news, JD? Is anything in the news worth watching? No, no. Actually, well, then not. I'll share something. The news is okay. terrible right oh, now. Oh. I've been trying to stay out of the news. There's nothing good in the news. So well, I will share something that's good. Okay. Are you going to wear white after Labor Day? Uh, Are what you, is what you, is got wearing white after Labor Day? It turns out you can do it now. It's yeah, allowed. but what what is the sense in that? Let me just tell you, you can't wear white before Labor Day. You can't wear white britches. After Labor Day? Yeah, something like that. What? You can't wear whitey tatties? As, no, Kay, white, as white, Kay said? White britches. Not, oh, not white under britches. britches. Oh, oh, not whitey tatties. Okay. While y'all were all gone too, we discovered we had all, in fact, seen Cy in his whitey tatties. Right, whitey tatties. Have y'all? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and, just make sure. said I had all kinds of room. Look, okay, so. I, I especially always, in the backside. I always had to, <laughs> I always had to stay in the same room as Cy when we would travel going hunting mm -hmm. because nobody else sleep with him. Because he snores. They used to make me, hey, Phil made me one night go out in the in the living room of the lodge. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> I'm then serious. They, he said, hey, I want to get some sleep tonight. you got to sleep in the recliner in the front room of the well, lodge. Well, look, when you share room. a room with him, he pees so much at night. And I'm he, up and whoa, down. Wow. Yeah, I'm yeah. up and down all night. <laughs> You're going to wake up and well, see. Hey, look. <laughs> Hey, I know. You can slow that I'm down. Not, I'm hey, not I drink two gallons of this a day. I'm not hating. I knew what I signed up hey, for I'm when like I got in the room with you. Hey, I'm like a race car, boys. After well, 50 laps, I got to pull in for a pit stop. But the problem is, see, here's what he don't tell you. Is he leaves that glass of tea with ice in it by his bed. So he'll get up and go take a leak. And then when he comes, he don't come lay back down. That's he right, sits on the side of the bed, and got a drink, drinks tea. half the glass of that's tea, right. after refills it, right. goes back to sleep. That's after right. he gets yeah. through rattling that's that right. ice. Hey, yeah. That's hey. a, that, that got there from my father, okay? Because look, 
It used to make my mother so mad. <laughs> Daddy was sitting there, and he just drank the last sip, and all he did was rattle her eyes, and she'd jump up and run poor tea in it. She said, I ain't doing this no more. <laughs> <laughs> and so she he ride that glass he she'd get up go fill it up you know so that's what? the part you know he don't what? tell you he drink he refills after every empty that's right boys hey yeah. in the middle of the night in like the one the o'clock night. two o'clock it three o'clock it, it don't make it you know what he said after she filled it up got him <laughs> <laughs> yeah well what did you have to tell us si, besides I had, that what, you have plenty of room in like, your tidy i was gonna be like paul the apostle okay and i'm gonna share something of first importance Oh, okay. Okay, and this is only, okay, this, since I'm the elderly gentleman in this outfit, this comes from old age. I got to thinking today, this world we live in is so messed up. Okay. It really is. You never hear the words uh, grateful. You never hear the words appreciative or thank you. Okay. And that's why Paul used to say it like this. I'm going to share something of first importance, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay, but back to the words. <clears throat> Thankful, appreciative, you know, we're, we're, the human race is too selfish. Okay, and that includes Silas Robertson, okay, because we want what's good for me and what's good for you, okay? But we need to think about the others, you know? And like I said before, as far as it goes for you, just wake up this morning when you got out of bed, you should say to yourself, I'm going to be good to everyone I come in contact with, and I'm going to do, <clears throat> within my power, I'm going to do everything I can to just do what's right for everyone. Me, you, and everybody else. And I'll stop talking. You, now, what I, do we got? You ain't got to stop. No, yeah, I, I yeah. like. We can go down you the can, preaching well, route yeah. of being thankful and not being. You can spit that selfish. Truth, son. Is that the, is that the word? Well, you, use? you know, that's what I've been thinking about today. Because I just said, well, okay, you know, and and here's another thing about the important thing. Okay, we really, uh, I can't. Can't think of what I wanted to actually say. You know, things. Do you uh, appreciate things? You know, mm -hmm. and and it's so many things that you can <clears throat> start. You know, because there's people that don't have them. Think about a person that was born blind. Mm -hmm. He's never had sight. Same thing about somebody that born deaf. He's never heard a sound for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. You know? Because the blind person, he's never seen a sunrise or a sunset. Hey, I'll tell you right now from personal experience, one thing you take for granted is your ability to smell and or taste. Well, no, no. Because when those two left the chat, <laughs> things got weird for me. Yeah. I'm just, so I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, because it didn't make blind. any difference what you've been into. It was just mush. Yeah, it was nothing there. You you couldn't even you don't realize how much you appreciate the taste of a potato chip for crying out loud, <laughs> or or a piece of watermelon. I mean, that was one thing I ate a lot of during it. But I mean, it is weird for people that have never had it. I don't know if it's as strange as for people who lose it, like if you have a bad accident, something blows up in your eyes, and well, then all no, of a sudden no. now you're blind. Yeah. When you lose something that you've had your whole life and you take it for granted, that is yeah. a completely different kind of thankfulness. Well, then, like, I mean, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, thankfully, during this whole thing, mine come back. Like, yeah. you know, and, and now when I eat something, I be honest with you, I savor it a little more now because I'm like, boy, if that leaves again, good night of living. But it, it is, a, it's hard to not, I mean, this roof, for example, there's a lot of people that don't have that. I mean, we got cold air blowing on the back of our neck yeah. right here. We got, you know, I mean, there's just a... Well, I just looked. I remember in times in my life that I was down, mm -hmm. okay, and didn't, didn't really think I had anything to be thankful for, okay, which is far from the truth. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, and that, that's the, like the song, Count Your Many Blessings, Name Them One by One. 
Okay. We get so wrapped up in the world and what the world is doing to us that we we lose. The only thing I think about is like children. Kids have a, a, a wonder. They're amazed at just how beautiful life is. Okay. And, and a lady sang a song about it one time <clears throat> that I hope you never lose that wonder. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's the way I am. I hope I never lose the wonder of life, of how wonderful it really is. Even when things are going badly, like we just, this country just went through a hurricane, especially New Orleans down south. Okay, that the, everything the world has to throw at you, you know, don't forget to stop, clear your head, and say, yeah, but there's so many blessings that I in, enjoy every day. Yeah, amen to that. Yeah, you because know, God says this way, I'm giving you new mercies every day. Yeah. yeah. And like, I don't know of anyone, uh, me especially, I need new mercies every day. Oh, boy, don't I got to. Amen. Okay, yeah. You know, so that, I just I got on that kick today. I yeah, like okay. what you said about the kids, being because in Jesus, well, they're him, innocent. Je, Jesus himself said to be like them, and yeah. it reminds. I've had a couple opportunities to go on mission trips. I've been to Haiti, and you want to talk about got nothing, and them there's the kids there mm-hmm. run up, hug you, jump in your lap. Happy, I ain't ever met you before. Happiest kid, full of. Literal and had, joy and had got nothing, yeah. and it's it's the definition of the word joy is when yeah. it's not yeah. about what they have, it's not about even being happy. They're just joyful to be alive because they're kids. They're like, hey, I got what I got, and this is great. I'm just happy to wake up this morning and go have fun with uh, no shoes playing soccer. And so, yeah, I, I think especially as Americans, we lose sight of you know just how really blessed how, we are, how good we got it, because yeah. yeah. you know. Last year, I thought I was going to die because the power went out for five days twice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this, these kids ain't never seen yeah. power. But you still had that roof. Still had a roof. Still had a, you know, had a generator running to my uh, and the, refrigerator. And the but mos- I'm like, The Why? mosquitoes wasn't all in there. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's the part that gets incredible to me. But like you were saying, like one of my favorite things about going to Wyoming every year is that wonder. Because I born and raised here. Mm-hmm. Like. They got things up there you don't ever see down here. Yeah, like hills or mountains. Hills, mountains, different trees, <laughs> yeah. different yeah. just. We got Mount Driscoll. But, but when you sit right there, like where we hunt is really close to Devil's Tower. And in the afternoons from where you sit and hunt, that's to the west. So you watch that sun go down behind Devil's Tower and light that thing up. It's incredible. I mean, I mm. wish they'd have named it something different in Devil's Tower, but, like, you know. Angel's Tower. Yeah, Jesus' stump. I mean, there's a lot of things they yeah, could have named. Yeah. You could know, have been but, better. Yeah. Um, That's his foot stove. Yeah. But, I mean, it's like, it is. it is That wonder, is, you, you just sit there and you realize, man, I'm a really small cog in this wheel. Yeah. Like, Well, you know. I'm trying to, the thing I wanted to do is that people that are having a rough time, it's temporary. It's all temporary. Okay, it's mm-hmm. all temporary. It don't so, feel hey. that, but it don't feel that way when you're going through well, it. No, I can, no, I can attest to that. No, nope. yeah. it does not feel temporary yeah. when you're going no. through it. And I, know, you see where people can get lost in it, like no. that with forgetting that it is in fact temporary. Well, JD JD said the best thing about it. Okay, is is uh, you know, I'm trying to give you some joy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I, I just, you know, I've been down there where I didn't think I had any reason to be joyful. But when the truth be known, I had all kinds of reason to be extremely joyful. Amen. Yeah. So that's, that's all I was doing. Hey, you know, even when you're at your lowest, okay, clear your head and look around you. Because my mother told me this when I was very young, okay. If you think you've reached the end of your rope and can't go any further, clear your head and look around you. And you'll always find someone else that you need to hit your knees and thank God Almighty for how blessed you really are because someone is always way worse off than you are. Yep. Amen. Amen. Well, let's, 
Let's take our last break and then we'll come back and answer a few emails. We'll be yeah. back right after. Back this. in the email book, boys. We're back. Back in on. Um... All right, we're back. Look, thank y'all for everybody that reaches out to us via the hello at duckcallroom.com inbox. Johnny D, what is in there? All right, I got one good, not what my mama made it. Whoa, that button, that oh, came one, out wrong. One not, good one, he said. Not how, how? I've got a couple good ones, but I got to share this one. <laughs> Corey in Brownsburg, Indiana, uh, they were making sandwiches. Uh, sandwiches. And tuna salad, which ain't my thing. Okay. Um, but he looked at his wife and said, "Well, where's the relish?" And she said, "I don't put relish I in tuna relish salad." And then right. he said, "Well, that's not how my mom makes it." Mm. That's the story. Not a great story, but well, an okay story. Until I tell you, it was the night they got back from their honeymoon that he said it. Come on, Corey. Uh, uh, where are you at, son? So how long did he wear relish uh, after that? I'm thinking, <laughs> no, he's, I'm he, thinking, sorry. he's been married for 42 years, and he hasn't had relish since. That's not true. I made all that up. <laughs> he made that up. But he did get to eat a sandwich by himself that night. Oh, oh yeah. I bet. And a peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just like and, I'd intended. That's right. Then, well, no interruptions. <laughs> Kelly from LaPorte, Colorado, she tried to make something, uh, some type of chicken and artichoke casserole, which I'm kind of calling time out right there. Um, but her husband was trying to eat it. And then they were like, I can't do this anymore. And so they gave it to the dog. And then the dog, the dog said, didn't need it. The dog okay. turned his nose oh, up at it. I was going to say, the dog that said, might. that ain't how mama made it. That's right. That ain't how mama made it. <laughs> yeah. He said, no, nah, these okay. are all the wrong ingredients. Anyway, all right. <laughs> questions, questions. Ethan from the Redneck Hills of West Virginia. Yeehaw. West Virginia, baby. West by God, Virginia. That's right. Ethan hey. says, my old lady, who I love very much and respect That's her right. opinion. She's old. We're pressed. So, so she so right. listens. Okay. Tells me <laughs> I wear way too much camo and I need to try to expand my style. I'm not really into that idea. She says I'm attractive. I'm attractive in camo either way, but would prefer I try something else. What should I do? I want the camo to stay. Um, well, you can keep the camo, <laughs> but hey. Go ahead and get a, you know, let the woman dress you yeah. up a little bit, son. There's lots of like. You might be shocked at how good you actually look in something besides camo. So I likes a tux. A camo one. Right. <laughs> And he also, well, no, no, hey, he also you know, likes a Porter Wagner jacket. With well, sequins. Hey, there you go, boys. Hey, sparkly. Sparkly. Okay. So I, I like to like to join up, boys. <laughs> Ethan, though, they make all kinds of clothes now in like black, brown, gray. Yeah. I mean, you can pretty well look at my wardrobe. I know I'm wearing camo today. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was, I laughed when I saw uh, it. I would just come off hunting. But, hey. Yeah, and it was clean and convenient. That's so, right. therefore, but there's a lot of earth tones available these days. Where you, you don't have you to be You still bright. feel like you wear camo, but you're not. Hey, look. So. I even wear dingy orange Dress tunnels. up for your woman, son. And if you're a little on the plus size, like myself, you wear black and turn it a 45, you look like you lost 27 pounds. So, there it is. Pro tip. Yeah. There you go. So, you can wear other clothes besides camo. You can. We do it you don't phil, have to phil doesn't he wears camo pants and a white t-shirt well he wears and white a white t-shirt is, a white is a very generous is. term on the color of that t-shirt yeah. it was white oh, yeah. when it was yeah me. that's being kind <laughs> that's being kind okay most of them are not white yeah all right well, we handled that question pretty quickly oh, there you well, go uh, um yeah. I thought we might. I didn't know if one of y'all was gonna be like, "Hey, you wear that camo." So. Well, hey, hit, well, I mean, hit he it can. Up. I don't. Yeah, All I right. always wear camo. I mean, real trees got like seven different camos now. So knock yourself out, Ethan. Tell her you go with a fishing camo. It's that's technically a, not camo. I like the old school camo. Yeah, that's or that. that's go what back, I wear. Go backwards. All right, what you got? All right, hey, this one piggybacks on what Sai was saying earlier because you might be in a tough time. Um. But let me tell you something that it says in Hebrews twelve twenty eight and 29. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, you might feel shaken right now. A lot of people have been shaken here in these past few months, um, including me. But we will be receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Let us be thankful. And so worship God acceptly with reverence and awe for our God is a consuming fire. There you go. That's a good one. I like, I like that All one. All right. Well, we'll see y'all next yep. time right uh -huh. here in the duck call room. We're out. We go.